Okay. Last weekend we were up at the uh, Husker Claim and we're running out of water. So what I'm going to do is try and make a, a recycling a sluice box, rocker box combination. And what I've got is uh, some pieces of plywood. I'm going to set it up for the box where I can put the classifier on top and run the box, loose box, down here into a recycling tub. Once I get some of this laid out and put together a little bit, I'll get back with you. I'm going to get some of these pieces cut out and start putting it together. And I'll get back with you and get some gold. So like I said, we got the uh, pacifier. I got a set so be right up here. I've got a few more pieces I need to cut and assemble a few more things and then I'll show you the progress of how we got. Go for the big ones. Okay, I got some of the pieces cut now. Right now I'm just in the middle of assembling some of it. I like using these washers that have the offset head on them. Makes it really nice to hold that wood. So I use quite a bit of these. Alright, I'll finish screwing a bunch of this together. Let me show you what we got so far. So bear with me. Okay, we got the basic box laid out. We got it all screwed up. We got the bottom plate for the matting. A little bit of angle here for when it sits up. I'll keep this level when you get it up at the right angle here. This should still be flat. I uh, think what I'll do next is uh, we'll lay this out here. I don't know if you can see that. I've got the lines marked here where I need to put some shells in. So I'll go ahead and round up some pieces and start making some of the shelving material and then I'll need one here and then I'll need one down here to dump off so we'll have it the actual material to drop through the classifier on the first table and ripples will drop the back side on the other table and then back down and run out the sluice box and I'll run this into a tub so we can recycle the water. That's the whole idea of this project. Water conservation. We'll take this top part off. You got it set up where you have to put these Two little screws in here to take it apart. I've got there's the top layer. And we get the so this is the top piece and it fits in here. So the material will run down here. Get the classifier on. Yeah, there. And then we take the screw out of the side here, and that'll let this whole thing come up so we can wash that. And actually, we have to take this one out too. These two screws, once we get them two out, this is for the cleanup. And you just swing this railing. And swing that up like this, and that makes it easier to get this out. And I'll pull that out so I can dump it in my bucket. And here's the inside of it. Not too bad, a couple of railings to hold it up here. Put this thing back in. 
build a little stop for it right here so that this whole thing doesn't slide down and you just swing this thing back down and you can put this back on the top so then like I said the material will run through the classifier and then it'll go down here drop off here on the back side and that'll drop off to the back inside of there and I'll just lift it up and it'll all come down in here I've got some rubber matting in there plus the expanded steel and the carpet my dog's trying to help. There's my dog. Hi, Daisy. Yeah, hi. Okay. Hey, hi. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, that's basically it. I've got her set with the right angle, so once you get her level, the top part level, then the angle's just about right down here, as you can see. I'll get a few more things wrapped up here and then uh, and it should be ready to go. I gotta have to figure out how to reseal it. I think I got some old motorhome sealer, roof sealer. I might try and do that. I'll silicone all the seams up and then and then coat it once really good with some uh, RV sealer. And uh, but it's coming right along. Shouldn't be. Well, let's see, everything should be dry now. It should be all dried and ready to go. Make sure you always wear your safety glasses. Okay, well, we don't need this yet. We're going to start putting this bad boy together. We got the ripples. The rubber, that goes in first. Up here, in the top. Then we have the carpet. And I drilled this right here so that it'll go right over the top of this bolt that I have. This has to be right, in. right like a so. Everything's sealed up, painted with that RV sealer. Should be. Should be a good box, man. Okay. And then we're going to slide this rubber mat back a little bit. I'll show you that real quick. What I'm talking about is this rubber mat down here. Instead of having it up there, we're going to pull it back down to here. Even with the carpet, here's that bolt. And then this is going to be a uh, nugget trap to catch all the big heavy nuggets. All right, then we're gonna put this screen in I have, and we're gonna cover half of the rubber matting. So we'll have a nugget trap, the regular uncovered matting, or the rubber. Then we'll have the expanded steel with the rubber, expanded steel on the uh, carpet, and then uh, free flowing carpet behind that. All right, well, let's get this bad boy together. Finish it up. So now that we got that down here, we'll uh, go ahead and put the washer on, a wing nut, and we should be ready to go with that. You don't want to get it too tight. Just enough to hold everything in place. Out like that. Okay. Nice. Alright, then we'll go to the top shelves. We have uh, this board here that we made up for the shelf. I made this adjustable hinge so we can get this in here. 
And you set this thing in here like that. That's probably the better show you. Put that in here like that. See, just comes right out. We'll put that bad boy in there. Then we have this thing that'll come down here and line up to the holes that I got the screw right here for. And then we'll put this glass shelf up in here. Like that. The material will run down through here, fall down on the second plate. I've got probably two inches there under that plate, and it'll run off from there down the carpet and down into the gold nugget trap, and then proceed through the rest of the box. So let me finish get this together here, and then we'll take a look at it. There we go. Remember I was talking about that screw? Okay, once I got that shelf in, I have to get that screw in the side, and that helps hold that little shelf on. Like that, so that this will just fit in there like that. And now we have the brace for the top shelf on both sides. Slightly, slightly overhang on the carpet so we make a good seal. And aha, I have another screw. And that keeps the top shelf from sliding out or having any problems with it. And all it takes is make a simple stupid. I just put a hole and a screw in it. And that seems to hold it quite well. There. Okay, now that's in good. That shelf is we're down here. We're ready to go. So what I'll do is put this on, check the clearance, see what we got, and then it looks, it that look hunky dory to me man. The next thing I think we'll have to do is we're going to have to recycle the water because that's the whole idea with this, is to classify it and wash at the same time and recycle the water. So I'll have to put this onto a Tupperware mounted up on a Tupperware like that with some legs so that this dumps into a fairly good sized Tupperware. I'll look around, see what I got. So we'll have to build some kind of legs back here to hold the back end up. And I was thinking about uh, two legs that were maybe hinged in the back here that would just pull right up underneath the box when I'm ready to transport it. I need to drop the legs down and well we'll see how that works. Um, let me find a Tupperware here somewhere. Alright, well there's the Tupperware. I think this is the one we're going to use. It's deep enough. we got a bucket in here to collect most of the tailings. And then once it gets full we can dump it. And I still have room over here. So I can scoop it right out of here with a pitcher. And pour it right on top put top tray back in like so and then this will be on top here and I rounded up some uh, PVC pipe I went ahead and drilled them to mount them out for a nice couple of legs on there and I think that should work out quite well I don't see there's too much more I can do to it. About the only thing I'll have to do now is to give her a try. <laughs> 